Now if you guys are anything like me and you've been waiting for another game to come along to fill that RPG void that remains after playing Skyrim, The Witcher or, or Dragon Age then Greedfall may be for you. Greedfall is a new open world RPG that's being published by Focus Entertainment that I, ESO, will most definitely be playing here on the channel but in this video I'll be sharing five reasons why I am so excited about it. So firstly let me talk about the combat before we dive into the details. The combat in this game just looks awesome and it looks really diverse as well like you're playing a musketeer who has access to magic. I mean look at these spell animations they look fantastic but you also have 1800 flintlock weapons as well as close combat as well and all the combat takes place in real time with the option to tactically pause and select a quick action to use giving you a diverse selection of abilities to use on the fly but you can also bind your most used spells and abilities to different buttons as well there also seems to be a diverse range of creatures and foes to battle but one featured in the swamp is this guardian monster which dishes out tons of different types of attacks like poison and a dodgeable physical attack as well it really does seem like each enemy encounter is going to be unique and require a, and require a different approach Secondly though, we have party members, which you guys can probably already see on screen. Because you have a group of two companions which you can swap out and equip with different gear at your camp place every time you camp. Each has their own moveset and they'll be useful in different scenarios. Just like in Dragon Age or Fallout 4, party members will actually dislike various actions you choose during the campaign. So there will be a lot of choice and consequence to your actions and what you decide with the various dialogue choices during the quest line. To the point where some of your party members can even leave your party if they disagree with you that much. And if you guys are excited for this game make sure you actually subscribe and press the bell icon as well because then YouTube will actually let you know as soon as I publish that first episode on Greedfall here on the channel. So if you're still on the fence about buying it after this video, just wait until that comes out and then make up your mind. Thirdly though, let's take a look at the RPG elements of Greedfall. Greedfall is a story focused roleplay game where you can play as either a male or female character, both of which have a central role during the main story. But you can of course customise these which is obviously really cool. It looks like a reasonably in-depth system though I've seen other roleplay games that take it a lot further but at least you can make your character look like yourself which I kind of like doing. But when it gets really cool is how you can build your character to fit the playstyle you want to play. So in the bottom left side of this skill tree it governs the technical skills, the green area here. So you have sneaking, lockpicking, all the roguelike abilities but also traps and firearms which will feature in the game to unlock massive damage hits in combat. It does seem like these types of weapons in the game are going to be used in combination with all the other skills and abilities in the game. So you won't just be purely using firearms or, or purely magic, you have to use a bit of both in different situations. Kind of like the Witcher with his silver sword I guess. Now the red tree on top is the warrior tree and it focuses on melee. Both fast paced rapiers and slower maces are optional to specialise in by the looks of it. And it also appears we can enchant our weapons as well with some unique abilities. But then finally we have the blue side of the tree that governs magical skills and abilities and this helps you close the gap between your foes by using abilities like, like lightning fast or even cast spells like shadow missile which all consume mana by the way. It's recommended that even mages carry melee weapons so they have an alternative damage output when you're low on mana and you're waiting for it to regenerate. Fourthly though, Greenfall obviously has crafting, like every good roleplay game and during your travels it's recommended you actually camp at night because apparently more dangerous creatures will be roaming around at night time that you might not want to deal with. So during camping you'll get access to the crafting station and you can craft yourself melee weapons, rifles, alchemy, jewellery and upgrade your existing gear to actually improve your character's damage and defensive output. I actually love how it visually changes as well, it's not just giving the armour a higher armour value but it's actually adding on some extra armour, some extra elements 
that are going to improve the appearance of it. Other than that, we don't really know a lot more details about crafting until the game is actually out, but it seems cool from all the possible armor selections we can get our hands on. And this will also give you an idea exactly how many different areas of the game and different cultures that exist within it. There's everything from tribal armor with antlers on it to a very posh suit you can wear as well, and I'm sure they'll have different effects on your character. And finally though, number five, let's talk about the world of Greedfall because it is a very unique looking world with its own take on the 1800s French colonial sort of feel to it. It's, it's a weird one. Actually, it doesn't surprise me though because the game was made by Spider Studio in Paris, so obviously it's going to have a lot of French influence. And you can fast travel from the campsite around this whole map, but the map is actually divided up into zones like it was in Dragon Age and I guess kind of The Witcher as well. To be honest, it sounds like an annoying kind of feature, like not a true op open world game in that sense, but honestly I've played quite a few games like that now and it, you get used to it and it's still very enjoyable. There is a diverse amount of locations to visit though, each with its own feel and political struggles going on. The game seems to have an 18th century colonial feel, like I said. Though there is, very interestingly, a focus on diversity of different made-up languages that you won't understand unless you have local understanding of the area you're in. So it may actually make a difference which characters you have, which companions you have along with you, who will actually understand the native language in that area and they might give you some insight into what's going on. So those are all the key points I wanted to highlight in this video, but if you want to check out some more gameplay of Greedfall, like I said, just subscribe, press the bell icon, and then YouTube will just let you know as soon as my full playthrough comes out here on the channel. I pretty much mostly focus on roleplay games here, so if you're interested in that kind of content, then subscribe anyway. But I'm just excited for Greedfall in general, and since I saw the announcement trailer, it looked like a really exciting game, and I want to see how it measures up to other roleplay game giants like Skyrim, or The Witcher 3, or Dragon Age. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about it.